All right, so we installed CatStat. Now the next step is to do a simple regression model. So I've, I've put some data in here, which I went, uh, so with Y, Y and X, you had to put these labels in. And that's a must with CatStat, unfortunately. So all I've done is gone one, two, click the two cells and drag it down. And thankfully, Excel actually counts it for us properly. Now, had you put just one in there, it doesn't know what the next number is going to be, so everything would have been one. Uh, so you need to put one and two. Now, X, with X, what I've done is said, okay, I want X to be equal to that times uh, 22 plus 5. Now, I know that usually X, uh, sorry, Y depends on X. But it doesn't really matter in this case, it's just to illustrate. You can you can easily um, play around with the equation and say x is equal to something about, about y. But that's what we're going to do. So you click over here and drag it down to get the formula. So that's what I've already done up, down here. I'm going to get rid of this. You go to add-ins and your cat stat. So this is an artificial example, but it should serve the purpose. In CatStat, choose uh, regression and correlation. So what I did was went CAD over here in at the Add-ins tab, went to regression and correlation, and choose simple multiple. For input range, you have to choose the entire bit, including the first row, including the one that has Y and X. And as for independent variable, I'm going to say it's y, which is what you would expect as usual. And with independent, it's x automatically, but the trick that most people have trouble with is choosing this x. You have to make sure you, you've chosen the x, they highlight it. Uh, in this cell, it, it simply means where am I going to spit out my output into, so I'm just going to choose a random empty cell, make sure there's plenty of space surrounding it so it doesn't rub off, uh, cut out any of the other data and go OK and that, there you go uh, so now if you look at your Y so your so intercepted X so before I said uh, X was equal to Y times 22 so you would expect the x coefficient to be 1 on 22, which is exactly what we have up here. As for your intercept, uh, you can play around with it, then, but you will end up with this. So your r squared, I got 1, which should be expected because there were no errors in this situation. So it was a perfect example with no, no errors. Uh, and yeah, so that's simple regression.